in a time of crisis, communication is critical, but far too often disseminating that information falls short for those in Spanish-speaking communities. One person trying to bridge that gap is Dr. Patricia Tejas Giron, who was honored by Time magazine recently for her efforts in helping lead the Latino charge against COVID-19. Dr. Tejas Giron is here now to talk more about those efforts. And doctor, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. I understand at your practice in Wisconsin, more than 90% of your patients speak Spanish. So as we're dealing with this coronavirus outbreak, tell us what's missing right now for your patients and for the community that you serve. You know, we were very lucky to have very good uh, interpreting services set up for our hospitals before this crisis, so that helps a lot. However, when this pandemic started, we did not have enough resources that were language and culturally appropriate for our communities. Yeah, you've co-chaired the Latino Health Council there for 20 years. How has this coronavirus crisis highlighted the vulnerabilities of your community? You know, where Latinx communities are very, very resilient and they are able to figure out a lot of things. But this pandemic really took heart in my community because we cannot take advantage of the uh, social, you know, nets that other people can take, mm. like unemployment. Uh, we are in the front lines cleaning the hospitals and the uh, stores and in the stores. And yet we, many of the undocumented uh, community that we have will not take advantage of that. Mm, I know that you recently did a Spanish radio appearance to try and help some, answer some of your listener questions. And it ran for nearly three hours because you had so many callers. What types of questions did they have for you? Yes, we knew we needed to do this as soon as possible. So as usual, we all got together, jumped in the radio, and I started talking about prevention. And people had very good questions about prevention. However, most of the questions were about, what am I going to do now when I lose my job? Mm. How am I going to pay the rent? How do I protect my family? Yeah, those are questions that so many people are asking. And for those who are watching at home, tell us where they can go to to hear more from you and to find more information for their needs. Yes, we are centralizing the information in our Facebook page, Latino Health Council, Consejo Latino para la Salud. We have been placing important, reliable information, language and culturally appropriate. And we are also addressing the mental health needs of our community by producing videos with local information and nationwide information about mental health. Oh, so important for so many people who you serve. Dr. Tejas Giron, thank you so much for being with us today. We certainly appreciate all that you do. Thank you for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.